okay so now today we are going to connect with uh, mysql server so let me download mysql community downloads or anything so just uh, click on that first link and you can see uh, different types of versions are there so i am going to download 5.7.44 version okay so now here so because 8 version is not working properly this is 8.2 right latest one this is not stable so it's not supporting also properly so we will go with, go with uh, stable version 5.7 so now go with uh, so many downloads are there so let me go to download page So same. So what you can do? So just click on download button installer. So Jeep uh, not needed. So why? Because we need to do some configurations, right? So for that purpose, uh, download this uh, uh, MSI installer. Windows 64 MSI installer. There is a 370, 373.7 MB. Scalar installer MSI. So better go with the second one guys download started so you just need to click on uh, you no need to log in and sign up you just need to click on no thanks just uh, start my download I think it's downloaded successfully. So let me install it. You just need to double click on the exe file. Uh, if you want to uh, go with the uh, server only, so as of now, I'm going with the default uh, server settings, click on next and then uh, selected path already exists. So now I, I will go with uh, C drive. So if you want, you can change your uh, uh, installation directory by clicking on this button. If you want to, if you want to change the installation directory. Okay. So some people don't have uh, uh, permission to install in uh, C drive. So those people, you can install it in uh, uh, other drive c uh, d drive or e drive something like that who are all not having permission okay your route pass are you want to continue so the selected already the selected path already exists so what i will do let me change uh, some other folder name mysql in stock Next, I'm ready to install. Now click on execute button. Click on next. 
again next so after that so you can see here uh, there is a double three zero six so default uh, this is the default port for mysql uh, database okay so any any version if you download and install it default port will be double three zero six if uh, anybody is having uh, other versions uh, if you have already uh, double zero double three zero six port if already installed uh, other than 5.7 version right you can check the port number if anyone already installed mysql older version something like that so you can change the port number so if you are uh, in your machine time so then you no need to change the port okay click on next button so it will ask you the password so you can give your own password okay i am giving admin okay admin and admin i am giving password as a admin admin click on next button and then again click on next click on next then select execute So you can see here the configuration for MySQL server uh, 5.7.44 was successful. So that means uh, MySQL server successfully installed. Okay. So now click on finish button. Then click next. So now just finish it. That's it. So now, so we are uh, installed. Uh, MySQL server successfully. Now, so we need a client actually. Client in the sense of workbench. So if you want to connect with your database, you need a SQL client. So there is a several clients are there, MySQL bench and SQL yog. So different uh, uh, SQL clients are there. So you can install whichever you want. So I am going to install uh that is for only for gui purpose to access your database okay to access your database for gui so you need to you need a sql client so i am going to download mysql mysql there is a sql yog sql yog community version you can type sql yog community free download so you can see you can download from anywhere so let me find good url for you Okay, click on that uh, community second link community edition so you can download from here so free download so just click on download option so this i don't want just click on close button then you can see start download so you can see start download button so click on that so if any ads comes you just need to close that's it so you can see sql uh, your community version is uh, downloaded in my machine so always go with the community edition guys otherwise uh, uh, commercial versions are there so if you go with commercial version it will not uh, uh, work without uh, uh paid version so you have to pay if you want commercial version you have to pay for that so now what i have downloaded community edition community edition in the sense anybody can download and install okay so for developer environment so i am just you need just need to click on double click and click on s click ok button next and i accept and next next and install so this is for uh, to access your database for uh, GUI, okay? So from the GUI, you can access your database. So I am using SQL. Yog. It is a commercial community version is available. So anybody can download and it is very uh, good uh, client actually. Some people uh, will use a workbench, MySQL workbench. If you want, you can download MySQL workbench as well. Whichever you feel comfort, you can download. I have downloaded SQL Yog, so I think it is successfully installed. 
So after that, so you need to double click on, uh, there is a shortcut create a right, just click on that. So it will open like this. So the moment if you open, if you open the client, so it will open. So desktop shortcut is, is created. Just click on double click. So it is open. If you anybody, there is no shortcut. So just click on here SQL in search bar, right? You can type SQL. You can see SQL if you installed successfully. Okay. So you can click on like this or from desktop anywhere you can open SQL your client. So now from here, we need to create a database. So earlier, so let me open Eclipse. So earlier we, we are connected with uh, H2 in-memory database, right? So now we are going to connect with MySQL server. So uh, Spring Boot is having in-memory H2 database. So for that, we no need to install any softwares, right? So now we are going to connect with MySQL database. So if you want to connect with MySQL database, you need to download uh, MySQL server and MySQL uh, uh, client. So MySQL server and MySQL uh, GUI client. Okay, MySQL server, you have to download. And also you have to download MySQL uh, GUI client. So I have downloaded a MySQL server 5.7 version and SQL Yog to access our uh, MySQL server database. So if you open your, our uh, project, so if you go to uh, application.properties in resources folder, there is a file called application.properties, right? So here we are connecting employee database. So how we are going to, how we are created earlier, so by creating the schema. So the, uh, to connect uh, H2, uh, H2 in-memory database. So now we are going to connect with MySQL server. So we have to create table and database manually. Okay. So now go to your, uh, so two times I opened. Uh, okay. Let me close one. So here you just need to open your SQL uh, community version. Go to uh, you can see there is an option called database. Click on create database. So I will I will give database name as employee DB. I am giving database name as employee DB. Okay, just click on create button. So employee DB is created, but it doesn't have any tables. So in MySQL, so you have to create uh, tables manually. Okay, so now go to, I already have script, right? So we already have script in schema.sql. So I am going to copy, same same script will execute here also, okay? So just a copy paste and execute. So you, there is a run button here. Click on run button. You can see, query executed and it is success. So if you refresh your uh, repository, how we can refresh? Select uh, root path and right click and uh, refresh object browser. If you click refresh object browser, you can see employee table is created. You can see right employee table is created. Right click on that uh, table, you can open the table. There is an option. So open table, right click on that employee table and uh, open table so right now we don't have any data right right now we don't have any data so now let me open a, a pdf file which i sent you earlier right so i just want to show you Uh, properties properties to connect uh, with uh, mysql server so how we have connected uh, mysql uh, uh, sorry how we have connected for uh, uh, in memory h2 database by providing uh, providing a driver and url and username and password so same way same way if you want to connect with uh, mysql uh, database you need url and uh, username and password at the same time driver also you needed but we no need to worry about it driver when we are working with the spring boot application 
we no need to worry about it, uh, driver. We no need to specify in properties.xml when we are working with Spring Boot application. So Spring Boot will take care of it automatically. So you no need to specify the driver information when you are working with Spring Boot application. Okay. So just uh, we just need to configure URL and username and password. So to connect with the MySQL database. So first, so okay, okay. So currently we have not created a new project, right? So this uh, the project which I have created. This will always connect with uh, in memory S2 database. Now we are going to connect with MySQL. So for, if you want to connect with MySQL in palm.xml, in palm.xml, you just need to add dependency MySQL dependency. So what do you need to add? MySQL dependency you have to add. So earlier to connect uh, HT in memory database, we have added one dependency, right? What is the dependency? H2 h2 dependency so h2 database dependency we have added to connect with h2 in memory database so now we are going to connect with mysql server so to connect with mysql database so we need to add mysql dependency so how you can download just go to go google.com and there here you just need to type mysql maven dependency that's it so click on Marvin repository. So there is a Marvin repository came right. Just go to open it and come down. So I'm going with uh, so any version, any anyway, Spring Boot application. You no need to specify any version. So 5.7, right? So let me any anything you can select because Spring Boot, you no need to mention the version details. So now come down and select this dependency select this tip copy this dependency and go to your palm.xml and add it so once you add just format control shift f so you no need to add version so you no need to add version so just delete that and then click on save button so what will happen it will download mysql uh, Sir, why it is showing error? So let me try Marvin update. Right click Marvin update project. So what will happen? It should download automatically. So without specifying version is not allowing. So what you can do? Five dot. Okay, let's add this this itself. Let me check whether it's downloaded or not. Actually, no need to provide the version, but uh, this version from the if you add manually, right? If you add manually, it is expecting version. So when you are creating project from scratch, you no need to define the version. So I think it's downloaded now. Let me try removing the version and click on save. Still it is showing error. Okay, anyway, you can add it. And then what you can do? Uh, you just need to, whenever some dependency added, you just need to update the uh, Marvin. Okay, right, uh, right click on the project, go to Marvin and update project. You have to update the project. Sometimes this Eclipse will not update the dependencies properly. That's the reason you, you always go with update option. Right click on the project and go to Marvin and click on update project and then click on force button. Okay, then click on OK button. That's it. I have already updated. So now go to your uh, my uh, properties dot file your properties file application dot properties because we need to disable h2 console right so earlier we are connecting with uh, uh HD in memory database i i am going to disable that how you can disable you just need to make it as a false you, you can just make it as a false or you can delete completely so you can delete this completely or you can just make it as a false so that you can it will not uh try to connect HT in memory database. So now remaining properties are same only. So what you have to add in the PDF I already mentioned here. So example properties to connect MySQL database. So what is the URL? So this is the URL to connect with MySQL database. Just copy it. Copy so you can see spring.database.url and spring.data source.username and spring dot data source or password these properties are common so only values you have to change okay so now for the time being what i will do i will just comment it out 
okay so then let me copy these properties and paste and again i just i just want to change the database url that's it so uncomment it okay save so you are a database url so what is the da database name we have created you can see why it is showing to let me close one okay so now what is the database with name we have created employee db so this is the database name this is the database name which we have created right so just click on that and copy employee db so you just need to go and change the database name so mysql url starts with jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash local host because we are installing in our you are connecting your you know local laptop right so if you are connect with local laptop local dev environment so it should, uh, host will be always local host and what is the port number so default port number of mysql server is double three zero six during the installation if you change your port number you have to modify the port number which you have changed okay so during the installation i have not modified the port number so i will go with default port number okay i just need to modify the database name so what is the database name i have given employee employee db that's it so this is the database i have created in mysql so now what is the user what is the username uh, user will be root so by default mysql server uh, user will be root and password i already modified the password name admin during the installation i have given password as admin and uh, default username root so that's it so now we can start our application just start your application and open the console and check is there any errors or server started successfully or not you can check so server start now so you can see server started successfully server is started successfully if you check the console now you cannot see h2 in memory database so you can see earlier whenever you are starting the server you can see h2fn console uh, log right so which is connecting to h2 in memory database now we are connecting with mysql database you can see added connection mysql you can see here added connection mysql you can see here so we are able to our application is able to connect with mysql successfully you can see here so added connection with mysql database so by looking this you can confirm that your application successfully connected with mysql database so remaining same so same code will work okay so whatever so you know uh, how we are performing database operation with the help of jdbc template right spring boot jdbc spring boot data jdbc which is having jdbc template with the help of jdbc template we are going to connect with uh, database now same code will work as it is you no need to modify any code so you just need to modify the connection details which is related to mysql database so you can see earlier here we have connected with h2 in memory database now i am going to connect with mysql database you can see i have modified the url and username and password other than that there is no changes needed only changes you need to add the dependency my very first step so what you have to do if you want to connect with mysql database the first step you have to do you have to add mysql dependency in your palm.xml so after that you in application dot properties you need it you know you need to specify mysql uh url and username and password so during the installation after installation i have created employee database and default user of mysql is root and uh, during the installation i have created the password admin 
okay so you just need to specify that's it so now let me create the employee from talent api or rest client let me close or all other tabs not needed so you need to open talent api so we are going to connect uh, we are going to test our rest apis with talent api so now what we can do so now open your uh, SQL community. So here you can see SQL yog. So as of now, your table is not having any data, right? Your table is not having any data. Now I am going to insert the record. So if you want to insert the record, what is the API you need to specify? Create employee. You can see there is a API called create employee. Just copy the URL go to your talent api or postman from anywhere you can send the request case so create employee and create employee always uh, 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 accept post request right so you have to select the post http request method and body is already there so we have created earlier right so it's already there so now i am going to send the request to insert employee id 1 rasul shake and mobile number let me enter uh, proper mobile number 9035160783 and uh, email also i will give rasul okay so now you just need to click on send button You can see we got the success response. What we got, we got in XML format. Why? Because last time I have given content type as XML, right? That's the reason it is giving XML format. So you can uncheck it. You can get it in a normal mode. So now employee is created, right? You got success response. It's returning one in the sense uh, employee is created successfully. Now where we can check just go to your database you can just click on that and open it again that's it you just need to query it how you can query uh there is a data option also available here you can see message table data so what you can do select star from employee right just click on run button you can see record is inserted in database successfully let me insert another record it's very very easy guys if you understand the concept it's very very easy to connect with any database if you want to connect with uh, uh, oracle you just need to add oracle dependency in form.xml and you need to specify oracle driver and username and password that's it remaining rest uh, all other code will work as it is okay so now let me give different mobile number and gmail okay mail rohit okay i'm going to create another record so let me send the request request and successfully i got successful response 200 so now you can go and check uh, you just need to select the query there is a run button you can see here run button click on run button you can see two records are inserted in database so earlier if you observe so now let me restart the server so what i will do i will stop the server again i will start the server why because early uh, earlier when we are working with ht in memory database whenever you are restarting the server you will you, you are going to lose all the data which you have inserted in h2 database because it is in memory database that is the reason whenever you are restarting the server you are going to lost your data so where when you are connected with mysql so even if you restart the server if you shut down the server uh, your data will not go anywhere so your data will always be there in mysql database you can request again see still two records are there i am just uh, querying the uh, select star for employee i am executing select star for employee you can see our records are all already there in database so now uh, we can fetch the records from 
restrict client by using find all employees api right so let me go and copy file all employees api and go to your rest client and just change your uh, uh, api and then what is the http request method to retrieve all the data it is get request so just to send the request you can see you got two records you got two records so uh, Rasul is inserted and Rohit Sharma is inserted. So the records which you have inserted, you are able to fetch from database. So now if you want XML response, what you need to do? If you want XML response, you have to select accept as uh, application or XML. If you send the request, you can see response will come as XML format. So first name, last name, mobile number, and email. If you want to JSON format, you just need to uncheck this, uh, uncheck, or you can give application or JSON as well. So uh, either uncheck or either specify application or JSON, you can retrieve the response as JSON format. So this is how we can connect with the MySQL database. Very, very simple, very, very simple, right? So, so tomorrow, uh, what I will do, I will create a, a MySQL project from scratch, okay? So some people may have confused, sir, you have created a, a manually by adding the uh, dependency in palm.xml and then we have connected. This is also one way. This is one way to con same application uh, can connect any database. Same application can connect with any database. So only thing is that you have to specify respective dependencies in your palm.xml and uh, go to your uh, properties dot uh, application dot properties. So you just need to specify MySQL database URL and username and password so that's it so now your application can connect with uh, mysql database so let me show you so again uh, so if you want to connect with hd in memory database what you have to do you no need to do any code changes you just need to modify this property file you just need to comment out comment it out comment it out mysql uh, dependence mysql properties so just uncomment the uh, MySQL uh, uh, H2 in memory properties and then enable your H2 console just to true. Just to save that uh, properties file. If you open the console, if you open the console, so let me check what it is saying. So you can see, uh, let me stop the server, start the server. It's not uh, uh, reflected properly. So what I will do, I will start again. Save that and let me start and open the console. See, you can see now our application is connected with H2 console. You can see our application is connected in connected with H2 console. It is very, very easy. If you want to connect with H2 in memory database, you just need to specify these three properties and if you want to connect with the mysql database you have to specify these three properties similarly if you want to connect with the oracle database any database here oracle or mongodb or any database any database if you want to connect with any database you just need these three properties you just need to modify url and username and password that's it so this is actually this is these properties are belongs to to connect with oracle database what is the oracle database of uh, url this is the url to connect with h2 uh, oracle database okay so you can see oracle dbc colon oracle colon thin colon at the rate slash slash localhost colon port number this is oracle default port number 1521 is the default port number for oracle database so i am not going to show you uh, to connect with oracle oracle database because oracle is a commercial database so if you want to install it you need to purchase the license and then only you can install 
Oracle database. Okay, so I'm not going to install Oracle database. Okay, so only I'm going to show you how we can connect the uh, Oracle database. You just need to specify these properties in application dot properties. If you are how if you have anybody is having Oracle database even in, uh, in your machine, you just need to modify your Oracle database URL and username and password and remaining code will work as it is you no need to modify any code so that you got to know now how to connect with multiple database by using spring boot application it's very 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 easy okay so tomorrow we'll connect with you guys okay you